Well, I didn't work. I don't give it just the right kick. All right, what else? What else? What else? Ah, of course. I see. I see. Darkest Kitchen! Yes, indeed. I am here preparing my world-famous jambalaya. It's that time of year, kitties. It's the end of summer. Hooray! And to celebrate such a horrific occasion here in Shadowbrook, we hold our Shadowbrook Fiesta Luau End of Summer Jamboree. It's a killer time. The whole town comes out. We have booths, and, and we've got a fortune teller coming to town this week. going to be a lot of fun. But um, the biggest attraction is what yours, Ghoulie, is going to be a part of. There is going to be a jambalaya cook-off. Yes, and I make the best jambalaya known to dead kind. <laughs> now, I'm going to win this year. I know it. Haven't won. Yeah, but I will win this year. I will, absolutely. I mean, I, I've got some really stiff competition this year. I mean, I'm going up with the likes of Martha Skewer and, and Emerald Lagosley and Swamp Gas Steve and Rachel Deathray. So, let's just go ahead and get the skulls rolling here. <laughs> Turn off your lights. Light your candles. Fire up your fog machine and fluff up that coffin pillow. It's time for the Darkest Hours Jamboree Edition. <laughs> Get away. You ain't going no, no, no. Fast food. Come back here! Okay, alright, alright. I don't need that black cat anyway. Well, it's actually kind of a good thing that happened, because black cat, <laughs> yeah, it does say in the rules that you can't use any type of magical influence in your in your, in your jambalaya. Because, you know, it's a way of cheating. <laughs> and yours ghoulie would never do that. Right? Right? First question for the day. Will I survive the storm that's coming up? It is a storm. What is your first name, Danny? Rachel Deathray. Rachel. Oh, here it is. Oh, Rachel. I feel bad for you, Rachel. Only because. Storm, it is coming. And you will be swept up in it. Is everything. Do you have all of your matters taken care of? Do you know who you're going to leave your finances at the end to? Are you. Are you ready, child? Are you ready? I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Next. Got it. I've 
got it. Yes, indeed. I have found that special something that's going to win me this cook-off. Even though the rules are very specific about not having magical ingredients in the jambalaya, how about having something magical on the arm that stirs the pot? Yes, indeed. Yours, Ghoulie, is getting a tattoo. <laughs> but I need not your ordinary ink slinger for this task. I need someone who can put an authentic, powerful, prodigious symbol on my arm that's going to make my jambalaya more addicting than angry birds. I mean, so something like this, something like this. I mean, just, just look at this stuff. Look at this stuff here. Okay, well, now, where to find someone? Where to find someone? Well, I guess I gotta go to really the only place in Shadowbrook to go when you need something. Chester's List. Okay. There we go. Alright, Chester's List. Looking for tattoo. Tap water, tadpole, hopeless dancing, tarantulas. There we go, Ta tattoo artist, tattoo artist. Okay. Oh, Feldstein. Feldstein, alright, that sounds good. Listen to this, listen to this. Tattoos while you wait, or drop off your skin. Come back for it later. Authenticity guaranteed. This sounds exactly like what I need. Exactly what I need. All right. All right. I'm off to get a tattoo. Hi, uh, I'm Emerald Agosti. Uh, I just want to know uh, how I'm going to do during the taco eating contest. Taco eating. This is so unfamiliar to me without you. Yeah. Talk of eating. Mm. You know, I love your name, and I do. Now, will this be the crunchy tacos or the soft tacos? Both. Both? Will you eat them at the same time, or will you eat crunchy, soft, crunchy, soft? Uh, alternating. Oh. <gasps> Emerald, you have such a beautiful name. I love that name. With such a horrible fate. Because in this, you didn't take a drink. It's what the card said. You didn't take a drink. Instead, you choked. In between your crunchy and your soft tackle, you choked. And you died, honey. I'm so sorry. Next! Well, the address is correct, but this does not look like any tattoo parlor I've ever been to. Tattoos you want, tattoos you got. Okay, okay, so I want something bold and powerful. Mm -hmm. S something that, that just oozes hypnotic Ooh. charisma. This is for a pie eating contest? No, 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 no. It's for a cooking contest. <sighs> I make the best jambalaya in town, and, and I want the judges to agree with me. It's like jamba juice. <sighs> never mind, never mind. Just, just I, I, I need something with with uh, uh, magic in it. Magic. You know? Oh, magic! Why didn't you say so? <sighs> I'm Mary Feldstein! Magic is my bag, baby! Alright. Well, I'm, 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 is, is that your tattoo then? What, this little chestnut? Y yeah, what, where did you get that? Well, I picked this little beauty up at the Damnation Army store. 
yeah, that's a good place. That's a good place. Just sit back, let Maui do his work. Ah, oh, get you some magic here, my pale friend. Magical? Is that gonna work? Ah, trust me! I'm also a licensed loyal! I don't know if you've ever thought about converting, but for today, I can offer you such a two-for-one deal you cannot believe! Huh? <laughs> Take a little off the top? I, I, I think I'm in enough shock for right now. I, if this works, maybe I'll come back. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, uh, you'll be back. It'll work, it'll work! Um, when I go to a tattoo parlor, I make sure they use more mouth ink. It's the finest ink money can buy, and it lasts forever. So remember, shut your whore mouth ink. Because this shit's expensive. I'm Swamp Gas Steve. My friends call me Swamp Gas Steve. Such a peculiar name. Want to know if it's... I should propose to my girlfriend. I would say you should propose. Because like everyone else today, your life seems to be slightly limited. So if you propose and do all the happy little things that people are supposed to do, the marriage, giving to the child, giving to the creepy things child children do, then it won't be so sad. Wait, wait, they're calling. Oh, I need all of them for this. It will be a happy marriage. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Do not let the children return to the swamp gas. on the five-time, soon-to-be six-time champ. Oh, whatever. I left the Hamptons for this. <laughs> Y'all looks like shit in a bucket. You mean like your face? <laughs> How? 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 How nice. Make you eat those words. They'll taste a lot better than your crap of gumbo. <laughs> that shit looks pretty good to me. We'll see. You need to ask me. Also, seriously, honey. Ask. I'm ready. Can you see if I'll be buying yet another house in the Hamptons this year? to be such a bear of bad news today. Martha, you have a beautiful house. But unfortunately, uh, I lost my hair. Unfortunately, you will only be in it for a year. And then, will you die too? 
Next. Uh. See if you get a write up in my magazine this year. <laughs> Nice pot. Goodwill. Martha Stewart collection, actually. Oh. Hey, why don't you ladies go back to the kitchen? Cooking's a man's job. Do you even know what you just said? Uh, sorry, babe. We couldn't hear you over the sound of how awesome we are. <laughs> Ow. Men. Can't live with them, can't cook ingredients out of them. <laughs> Says you. Ah, yes, yes, what a glorious afternoon, <laughs> ladies, ghouls. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Ah, yes, that trophy is mine this year. Yes, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> and I'm the queen of France. And I'm the king of her pants. Wow. What does that mean? Look, can we get on with this? I have a hemlock tasting in half an hour. Well, yeah, here comes the judge to call me the six-time winner. In your dreams. Whew! Is it, is it hot out here, or is it just me? No, it's just Damn me. Right. Overcooked as usual. Oh. Spicy. I had a little extra pow this year. What did you use? Gunpowder. What was your base for the stock? My ex. <laughs> Seriously, it is really hot out here. Stop sweating on me, you leech. I'm not even touching you. Keep it that way. Outstanding. Oh, did you hear that, everybody? It's outstanding. Like a cow in the pasture. <laughs> Sad time, Jack, because you're not going to win. Oh, yeah? Well... Feel the power of my pony! Murray, have you met my friend Scully? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, Scully likes you too. Yeah. Okay, I only hear every other word he says, so I think it was something like it. <laughs> I just say yes to everything. Okay, and Murray, what was your question? Well, I've got a pressing matter. I hope you can help me with it. I have got to win the lottery this weekend. This money is so tight right now, you know? Ah, I love the happy way you asked that question. Mary, I'm so sad to tell you that you're not going to win the lottery. But I'm even more sad to tell you that, honey, your days are numbered. And so we'll just have a very nice ceremony for you. Do you remember the story of the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh? Well, we'll put the frankincense in here for you. Not that we're really putting you way up high above anyone else, but baby, you're going to die. And we can use our little Mr. Spider friend here, because he sort of smiles at you as he's staring at you. And he'll remind you that death is coming near. And we'll use our little Sphinx. I was in Egypt recently, and I saw a lot of these, and I had no idea what they meant. I came home, and one of my children told me everything. I wish I could have brought home a whole bunch of things to have to do with funerals, Murray, because we will be having one for you. Oh, no! What, what are you kidding me? Let me check one last time. The one... <gasps> Murray, you are so at the low end. You are, you are going to die, baby. Yes. So no money for you, no lottery for you, nothing like that. You're, you're going to go, honey. 
I do wish you well. Oh, crap! Well, I better go borrow some money then. <laughs> I don't have to pay it back now. <laughs> Next. Well, well, well. That jambalaya jamboree and, and end of summer luau fiesta festival was, was a howling success, wasn't it, Boils and Ghouls? Yes, indeed. I got my well-deserved trophy. Yeah, and a vacation. Yeah, that's right. So I'm off to Transylvania for a week. So, but don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. We'll be back very soon with new frights and sounds for you kitties. <laughs> Uh, but for now, I really have got to do something about this tattoo. I've tried sandpaper. Nothing. Tried a cheese grater. Still nothing. And then, to top it off, it's starting to do some really bizarre things. Like, I was in the Damnation Army store the other day and it picked up a Rainbow Bright doll. Yeah. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'll just go in for that full arm transplant. That'll fix it right up. <laughs> oh, I guess it's back to Chester's list. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go get to work on that and uh, until next slime, kitties. Sweet nightmares. <laughs> Stop that! Your name is Chester. I guess that's easy to say with the way your teeth are protruding from your mouth. Chester, hi. Chester wants to know how will he die? I'm sorry to break this sad news to you, but you're already gone, dear. The next question is, how do you cross over and into the light? First of all, you've got to change your fashion. You just have to look good in heaven. The ladies do tell me, yes, yes, they do tell me that you've been to Hawaii. I know you must have had a ball. Did you go when you were alive or when you died? Oh, yes, you did just find out that you're dead, and yes, Chester is just coming to a realization that he has already passed. Yes, so no bone shaking for you. No, well, okay. One hair. Okay, boy. Oh, he's happy. All right, he's happy. Okay, thank you, Chester. Next. I can't believe that asshole Jack trying to take my title from me. I can't believe he did. What kind of bullshit is this? Winning with some kind of magic tattoo? That's gotta be against the rules or something. Magic tattoo, you say? Yeah. Well, at least now I know that if I propose, my girlfriend will say yes. Oh, damn, straight you, Bill! I got a bona fide witch telling me the future. It's gotta be true. But like hell, I'm keeping my kids out of the swamp. Swamp gas, proud family name. I'm gonna keep it that way. They all gonna be raised in the swamp. The two G's are one. Just one. Okay, that's what I thought. That's a nice tattoo. If I do say so myself. So. I'm just dying to know, how will I meet my demise? And what did you say your name again? Jack. Jack, Jack. Okay, Jack. I won't use them all. I lost my hair. Hair. <gasps> there you are. I knew you 
love amusement parks. Mm. I would suggest you do not go on a roller coaster for quite a while. Because, oh dear, your shoestring gets caught in the little area where you fasten yourself in of the roller coaster. And, and, oh honey, oh, oh, as you're plunging down, you get your foot caught, and when you go to snatch your foot out, it lunges you forward, and you're already going forward, so. Gravity just took over me. Don't go on a roller coaster. No, this is not a Next. Stand the door down, baby, with a double-edged bruise knife. 